Use the factor theory, show that 2x minus 1 is a factor of fx. Okay, factor theory says that if 2x minus 1 is a factor, we let this factor equal to 0, again, x equals half. If I sub half into the function, I should get 0. Okay, uh, the factor theory says that, uh, Okay, factor theory said that if you have a, a factor, okay, x minus k and x minus k equal to zero, s equals k, s equals k should be a root for the equation uh, fx. That means fk should be uh, zero. Okay, so 2x minus one, if it's a factor, 2x minus one equal to zero, s equals to half, the f half bound to be zero we're going to show that since it's to show we must show the working such as substitution okay uh simplification Yeah, so this is 26 over 4 minus 5 over 2 minus 2 over 8, 13 over 2. So obviously it's equal to 0, right? 13 minus 5 minus 8. Now, so because f half equal to 0, we know 2x minus 1 is a factor of fx. Okay, now. Then factorize fx completely and solve the equation. So here we can use the uh, long division. Okay, long division is one way up. Uh, 6x cubed plus 23x squared minus 5x minus 4. Okay, this one divided by 2x minus 1. Huh? Now, we look at the first term, 6x cubed. Divided by 2x. Don't need, don't need to worry about the rest. Okay, so 6x cubed divided by 2x, 3x squared. 3x squared times negative 1, negative 3x squared. Now here, be very careful. Uh, 23 minus negative 3 uh, is 23 plus 3. So here you don't do addition. Uh, it's not 20. Uh, if it's 20, it's wrong. It should be. 23 minus negative 3, so it's 26. 26 x squared divided by 2x is 13 x. So once again, this is not negative 18. Huh? Negative 5 minus negative 13 should give us plus 8. OK, and then 8x minus 4 divided by 2x minus 1, positive 4. OK, so yep, that means uh, fx is equal to 2x minus 1 times 3x squared plus 13x plus 4. So now you just need to factorize 3x squared uh, 4. 12x, x, 13x, right? So it's a 3x plus 1 and x plus 4. Uh, if that's the case, uh, 2x minus 1 equal to 0, the first root is half. 3x plus 1, the second root is minus 1 over 3. x plus 4, the third root is 4. Okay, so the three roots, half, negative 1 over 3 and negative 4. Huh? OK, so one of the way to help us to factorize is a uh, long division. Huh? And this one is, is uh, all real roots. Huh? So we use x. 
Okay, this one you can see change to Z uh, because here we include the complex roots. Now, Z minus four is a factor. And find the factor of PZ in the form of Z plus K where K is a positive uh, integer. Okay, so firstly, we do the division to work out the, the rest because if Z minus four is a factor, uh, Z to four divided by Z, Z to three. Okay, here got all the zero already. Huh? So just, okay, if that's the case, uh, zero divided by Z, just zero. Okay, and then, uh, So minus 2z squared plus 12z. Now minus 2z squared divided by z is uh, minus 2z. Twelve minus eight, four. Okay, so that's why four z minus sixteen zero. Huh? Okay, so what we have is Z minus four multiplied by Z cubed minus two Z plus four. Now they say uh, there's a factor Z plus K where K is a positive integer. Now imagine uh, Z plus K is a factor. So Z is negative K. Now K is positive. So negative k is negative. That means there's a negative integer, uh, uh, which is the root for this equation. So let's try an error. OK, if this question is given in a calculator-free session, you have to do try an error. OK, for example, negative 1. Negative 1 cubed minus 2, negative 1 plus 4. OK, this one won't be 0 uh, because it's Minus one plus two plus four will be zero. How about these negative two? Negative two cubed minus two times negative two plus four. So this is negative eight plus four plus four zero. Yeah. So z is negative two. That's why if z is negative two, uh, so it's a z plus two, right? Because negative k is negative two. So k is two, uh, so z plus two. Okay, now look at next one. Uh. So now this uh, function of z, right, has two factors already, z minus four, z plus two. Okay, uh, and then we have another uh, quadratic. Now we can do the long division, uh, uh, no problem. I need to put a zero to represent z squared. Huh? So zero z squared. Huh? And then divided by z plus two. So z cubed divided by z, z squared. Because in the cubic, there's no z squared. So we assume it's a zero z squared. So zero z squared minus two z squared is negative two z squared negative 2z squared divided by z, negative 2z. So negative 2z minus negative 4, so it's positive 2z, uh? so plus 2. Okay, so the one is z squared minus 2z plus 2. Okay, now here I want to show you another way to do this. Okay, if you do want to do the long division, right? You can think in this way. Z cubed 
minus 2z, okay, we are z cubed minus 2z, it plus 4. This one has a factor of z plus 2. That means it has another quadratic, okay, quadratic like az squared plus bz plus c. Okay, it bound to be a quadratic, because the total is the power 3. But then think about this, uh, z cubed divided by z, it just be z squared only. Okay, right? Z cubed divided by z, it must be z squared, otherwise you won't get z cubed. 4 divided by 2, it bound to be 2. Okay. Otherwise, uh, if this is not plus 2, you cannot have plus 4 in a cubic. Uh, if that's the case, we only have the coefficient of z not work out. Okay, so we can just look at, for example, uh, we can look at the coefficient of z on the left. is negative 2. So we look at the coefficient of z on the right. So to get the z, uh, 2 times z, 2b times z. What else? OK, so on the left, the coefficient of z is 2b plus 2. OK, so you compare the coefficient you get negative 2 equals 2b plus 2, 2b is negative 4, b is negative 2. Okay, so this is how you work out z squared plus negative 2, which is a b times z plus 2. Okay, you can also work out the quadratic in this way. Huh? Now, if you are watching the video, you can pause here and then write this down. Huh? You can always pause your video up when you want to stop and take some notes. OK, let's continue. Uh, find uh, all the roots. So here we already have these 4, these minus 2. OK, for this one, uh, we just use uh, a quadratic formula, minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Because when you try it, we know that you cannot factorize. So minus 4 minus 2 squared is 4, 4 minus 8. Two plus minus square root of uh, negative four, which is square root of four times square root of negative one. That's why the answer is one plus minus. Okay, so four roots. Zero, z equals 4, z equals minus 2, z equals 1 plus i, z equals uh, 1 minus i. Okay. Remember, if there are complex roots, they always come up in conjugate uh, pairs. Uh, 